coming here wasn't part of the plan, but it couldn't drive past this. Pretty good start to the day. So now we're going to head towards, um, where are we going? Bofell. Bofell. Get out of there in the sun, it'd be right. It's a bit cold yeah. at the moment. Should be a bit warmer up there. In that sun, it'd be right. We're making our way across to Bofell today. I've never done this before, so I don't really know what we're going to see. But I imagine we'll get good views of the Langdales. But what we're going to do is this here, that there. We're going to go up the band, then up to Bowfell. So that's basically we're going to work our way across to here, up the band, then round here. Then we got Crinkle Crags here, and I think that was Estale Pike. I don't really know though, so that, that could be wrong. I'll check the map once we get to the top. We've climbed up a bit now and we're starting to get views over the Langdales there and I think that's Pike of Blisco there. I almost went up there today but changed my mind and came here. And you get a nice view down the valley here. I think I might get a picture of that actually. Not too bad. I'm surprised at how warm it is. This morning I was expecting it to be like really icy. Well maybe not icy but like really cold and windy. But now the sun's come out, it's boiling. You can still see some of the frosty patches here. But all the other fields have thawed out now. Can't really complain about it being sunny though. Gotta make the most of it while it's here. My dad's beating me today. He's up there. I did start to get pictures, but he's still in front, so I'll give him this one. It'll soon change though. There's nobody up there, Ad. No one? No one. Can't see one person. We can see the top of Bofell here. At least we think that's Bofell. Uh, it looks like it's like a steady path, then it just goes straight up. Apparently there's a couple of ways that you can go from here. Go up this path, like we're gonna do, then go up to the top here. Or there's like a climb this trail here that goes up over these rocks. We're gonna take the easier way today though. And then I think we should get views over Scarfell and Scarfell Pike from the top. Hopefully it's quite clear. We're at the spot called Free Tarns now. Because it's Free Tarns obviously, and we think you can see Devoke water over there, like back here. I think you can see Scarfell, but these big rocks are in the way at the moment, so once we get to the top, we should get a better view. So we've made it up to the top now. Uh, I can't remember what the words are for it, but you can 
start down in Wasdale, then you go up, up the street, you come out here, you can go up there to Scarfell, uh, up there to Scarfell Pike, and then down the valley. Then we've got the Langdales over here. Shop looking towards Scarfell Pike first. I'm gonna go for something a bit like that. Um, got the camera set up here, and then the settings I've got it on is 150 for a second, f8, ISO 50. I'm just focusing like right in the middle, so we'll take that one now. down and eat, eat somewhere. Yeah, eat on that side. I think we're sorted here. I'm just going to put the camera away. Then we're going to go around there and have dinner there. It's bloody cold up here. It's really hazy as well, which I wasn't expecting. But there we go. That's what we're dealt with. It was so windy at the top. It kind of messed up my plans because I was trying to explain where everything was and what I was shooting, but I'm going to go through it again now because the lights change as well a little bit, so still a nice view. But we've got um, Scarfell and Scarfell Pike here. Um, that one there, that's Scarfell, and then that one there, that's Scarfell Pike. You can see all the people on the top. Whenever you go up there, there's like always a lot of people. I've been up there about four times now. Two other times, it's like a complete whiteout. It's just like um, misty and fo or foggy. I'm not sure what the right word is for that. I think it's fog. Um, and there's still loads of people up there. And the two times when it was sunny, there's even more again. But I think now we're going to make our way over there. My dad's here, and we're going to go down to here and go to Angle Town. Another thing that I've noticed while doing this, I need to get some new gloves. These ones are both completely trashed, but can't do anything about that now, so we'll keep on walking. Are you sure? Panic, I couldn't understand where the, where the crossroads was. Well, the crossroads was there. 
Can you see it? We're pretty sure this is the right way. It might not be though. You see it? I believe it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. How big is it? There it is. Oh. There it is. There it, is. it looks like we got it right this time. Unless there's a few different tarns on here. You can see it now. The tarn? There's the Langdale. Oh, the Langdale's. Yeah. There's the tarn. Ah. Yeah. There's the Langdale's. I thought they'd be closer for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting them to be like here. Yeah, so was I. We might have taken a slight detour, but I think it's going to work out all right. Because I think we can walk down to this town, across that, then sort of behind there. At least that's how it works in my head. Um, my dad probably knows better, but it's got to be downhill anyway. This is nice. That's Angle Town. That I came across this grassy bit here because I thought I might be able to get a view, like over the top of it, with the mountains in the background. But it actually looks like it would have been better if I stayed on the path that my dad's on and look that way and get the Langdales in the background. But I'm here now, so I'm gonna get a picture here and then we'll go down there. Move down a bit further, and I've ended up actually preferring that first shot that I got. So, got it right first time for a change. Um, you can't see the Langdales as much as I expected, really. That hill there, whatever that one's called, is blocking the view of it. I'm going to try and get closer to that edge and get a few shots here anyway. It's still a nice view, and then gonna catch up with my dad over on that path. Over there. He's about here. Now we're near the bottom of that path that I was on. And you get like a full view of the town now. Like you can see like front to the back like the water's edges. That's usually what I try and find but I've ended up liking the picture that I got from at the top of that. I've gone quite a long way actually. Didn't feel that bad at the time. But I've got a feeling now we're going down here. Down this path. Then I have a feeling we're going up there. I'd convinced myself we're all going downhill now so not too pleased about that but doesn't really matter what I think, we've got to go up there, so so I'm going to put my camera away for a little bit, then we'll get to the top of there. We're over in the Langdale Valley now, so I'm just going to look for one more composition. There's a sheep down here though, we'll try and get this. I'm taking the bag off this time. So I'm going to try and be a bit more sneaky. I want to get... I'm blocking them. But the, the Langdale Pikes, eh, like where I am, there's a little sheep here and the valley's down there. So 
I want to get the sheep in the bottom, right left hand side. So I'm going to sneak up there and try and get that. Actually, I can just see him in. It works at 50 millimeters. So I'm going to get a couple of this, then move forward slowly. So I imagine it will be better if I'm actually closer. I'm quite happy with those. Um, I think I preferred the one that was in portrait rather than landscape. But I'll see what it's like when I get home. Often looks different when it's on the big screen. So I'm going to have a little wander around here. I'm going to go up to the top of this and see if I can just get a landscape shot just on its own. But yeah, that was a good walk. I'd definitely recommend it probably going to come back one day so yeah if you fancy doing it that's a rough idea or if you fancy saving yourself the walk I'll be putting the pictures that I got today onto my website and they'll be available as prints so you can go to adamkappa.co.uk and get them there I'll put a link down below but I hope you enjoyed the video and